My name is Alex Kellums. I'm the uh, dredge captain here on the Dredge MBI 08 at Matthews Brothers Dredging for ships, ship docks, uh, ship channels here in Houston, Port Arthur, and Lake Charles area. Uh, we're, we're dredging down to a minus 46 feet we're using a eight and a half yard clamshell bucket. My name is Dennis Ferguson. I'm with the Dutra Group. I am the fleet manager of the Clam Shell Division of the Dutra Group. So there's a couple different types of dredging projects that go on. Uh, one is a maintenance dredging and then a deepening dredging project. So what we're doing out here in Mobile is actually the, the fourth phase of uh, possibly a six phase deepening project. And we're deepening approximately nine miles of channel here in Mobile. For the entire project, it's 5.7 million cubic yards of material. Yeah, my name is Steve Wisenhunt. I work with the Lee Baron Engine Group covering the west coast of the United States. Um, this particular machine, the HS8300, uh, is our biggest current production dredging machine. This machine is equipped with a 1,000 horsepower Tier 4 final engine. It's also equipped with Pactronic, which gives us about 1,500 horsepower to help run the 154,000 pound single line full of winches. We'll let them run a 35 uh, cubic yard cable arm bucket, a 30 yard, a 20, and on this one, the 14 yard bucket. This machine is heavily built uh, as, a, as a mining spec machine, capable of doing 4 million plus cycles, uh, which is a very strong uh, specification for this class of machine. This machine also has on it uh, other custom features designed for lift crane work, uh, pile driving work, to be able to put a lead system on it, and to do drag line work, all on this particular machine. We're loading about 1,000 yards every two hours uh, in hard clay, sand, um, getting anywhere between 4,500 and 5,500 yards per day. We are using the Pactronics uh, especially in the deeper water. Benefits that we see from using the Pactronics is pretty much a double line speed, increases the cycle times in loading these barges. The biggest piece that we really looked at when we were looking at the dredge assistant is trying to get the flat bottom because you don't want to go over depth and you don't want to go under and have to come back for what we would call a high spot. Um, so the dredge assistant is constantly working back and forth with tide changes. That was the custom programming so that we could come in and do a flat bottom cut and not over dig. You know, the nice thing about this crane, when we first got it, we have, with the 895, uh, operators that were familiar with Lieber controls. We've uh, utilized the 1300, the LR 1300, the 895, so when you get into a brand new 8300, the controls were very similar. So it was a short period between accepting the crane, getting it on the barge, going to work, and the operators really getting familiar with it. Uh, which is all about production and efficiency. Um, we really like to do the Dutra specials, as we would call them. Um, we did some customizing even on this machine. We went for a wider cab, raised it up for better visibility, did a pedestal increase. Um, we went for the bigger winches when they were available, lighter boom, so we could swing a little bigger bucket. Especially with the Lee Bear, we've been watching the production pretty close. Um, so the cycle times have been 
you know, right where we projected and we did a lot of studies prior to, you know, cross performance studies and things like that. So that, um, right now we're looking right about 65 second cycle times per swing. Um, it could get up to 70 depending on the material, but yeah, it's been, it's been right on where we estimated it to be. This machine, it is smooth, faster, and more fuel efficient than any of the older machines. The machine runs 15 to 20 hours a day, and we have a huge time crunch most of the time. You know, if, if there's assistance that we need from Lee Bear, they have been able to answer the calls, answer our questions fairly quickly, and give us the help that we needed.